Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Awareness and Action. Today we're going to talk about goals. How many of you have goals? How many of you are writing down your goals and looking to achieve your goals? And what if I told you that I don't actually believe in goals? Would you be shocked? Or would that be something that you'd be open to listening to? Uh, and when we come right back, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about goals and we're going to talk about what it, how I see it and what it actually means to me. Um, and I'll allow you to, to draw your own conclusions. So when we come right back, we're going to talk about achieving your goals. God bless. <clears throat> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So... I asked the question at the beginning, what does it mean for you? You know, how many of you write down goals? How many of you try to achieve your goals? And what does it really mean by writing down those goals? Do, is, do, do you set some kind of universal law in action that, that makes you want to achieve them? Not really, because if you don't take action to actually try and reach those goals, it really means nothing. But what if I told you that I, I don't actually believe in goals and I don't, actually go forward for goals and here's the reason because I think of it more in the way of transformation if I transform something in order to make myself better whatever I'm putting down as a goal is just a milestone if I transform my business or I transform my life or I transform the way I see things to a more positive vibration or a more positive way of looking at things the goals don't become that important because every one of those goals or every one of those things are all will already be achieved by transforming yourself or transforming your business and if you transform yourself you're going to transform your business really the power of the business comes from you um you're the person who started the business, you're the person who had the idea for the business and then you develop that team and that team that's around you, you have you know these little cogs, you know, little cogs are needed to make a big wheel turn, the wheel won't turn on its own unless it's going downhill and in business you don't want to be going downhill. So we have a look at how we transform things when we have a problem in business or we have a problem in life. And maybe we want to change those things. We're talking about change and transformation. If you're not earning enough money, you're looking to uh, to earn more money, which means you're looking to change that situation. You're looking to transform it from one form of energy to another. Your goal may be by certain amount, of time, I want to earn X amount and that is a goal that I want to. But is that really important? Because when you actually reach that goal, are you reaching happiness? No. Because you will replace it with another goal. And in that way, some people might say, well, yeah, at least you're always moving forward. But you, you're you continually trying to seek happiness in the form of a milestone of achieving a distance, a, a, a point in distance. You're going from point A to point B to point C. And whilst you're still moving forward, you're still on that, you're, you're still on that path. And when you reach that goal, that goal becomes not, it doesn't become important anymore because you've reached it, what's next? You've heard the saying with a lot of millionaires, a lot of people will say, you know, I had so many millions, you know, and, and then I realized I, 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 I'd achieved everything, I'd achieved that in my business, but I wasn't happy. And there was nothing else for me to do. I could retire early and every goal that I had set myself, I had achieved, I got to, and then there was nothing. Is that really that important? So let's talk about transformation. If you transform yourself, you're transforming yourself from one particular vibration to another, and hopefully it's a positive vibration, because the transformation means that the change, everything in your environment changes. Happiness you find, you find from within yourself. Happiness comes from a simple thing, a decision. And when you're happy, any transformation can be achieved because it's a continual development, a progression of your mind, your body, your soul, or a progression of your spirit. In transforming yourself, 
professionally in your business and transforming yourself in your life, the goals don't the goals don't matter because the transformation the goals will happen naturally. You transform yourself, divine law dictates that you'll attract these good things to your life. And maybe it is that you you, you weren't supposed to reach that hundred thousand or that million goal because there was something bigger and better for you, that, a door that opened. Maybe what you perceived, you perceived from a materialistic point of view, but what you were transforming was something greater. What you were transforming to, or your transformation, served humanity in a greater way. And in that service, brought you the material things that you had, that, that, you, that, you, that you wanted or you desired. Not that you needed because spirit and, and divine law will always give you what you need, not necessarily what you want. What you need uh, and what you want are two different things. So a goal is something that I want to try and achieve. I, I want to reach this particular point, and by that particular point, I want to have achieved X, Y, and Z. But if I think about transformation in my whole mind, my body, and my soul, the goal becomes null and void because it's already, everything's going to transform positively. Everything will transform for the better. And whatever that, that you are lacking, that you're trying to achieve to make yourself better, will already be there. There is no reason to strive for that one milestone that is an illusion to make you feel better if you try to transform yourself, your business will transform. If you have a problem in your life that has a spiritual solution, Wayne Dyer used, would say there's a spiritual solution to every problem. He's passed now. But his wisdom was was, was way ahead of its time. Um, but it was steeped in in tradition as well. And, and it's true for, for every problem in your life, for every interpersonal relationship that you have. The, the 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 fundamental thing is not the goal that changes it. It's the transformation of you. It's the transformation of your environment, which comes from within. It comes from you. And the minute that you transform things, you look at things differently. You are clearer in your, your direction. Your intuition is stronger. As you transform, your inner power becomes stronger. You see a clear direction and you see ways that you might never have become aware of before. Now that that awareness is there, the goal is not that important. The transformation is because then you can co-create anything that you put your, your power onto. So think about transformation rather than goals. Try and set yourself the target of transforming yourself and transforming your business because you've transformed yourself. All the goals that you ever thought you were going for, you'll already get, you'll already have them. They'll already be there. The path will be clear. The way will be clear. Your intuition will be clear. And you will know what to do. And you will be able to manifest and create on that level rather than limiting yourself to the mindset that I just have to reach this point to achieve this goal because when that goal drops off, what do you do next? When you make all that money, it doesn't bring you the happiness because it's the happiness is within you. And I'm going to finish this with a, a little story. There was a, a, a guy, he was named, named T-Bag Pete and he, he, he was a very famous guy from back in, in, in Swansea in the UK. And I met T Bag Pete a few times, and and my uh, my my brother from another mother in in uh, in the UK. Uh, he is an ex-military, and he, we would talk, you know, uh, time and time about T Bag Pete and his story and everything else, you know. And and this guy had nothing. That this guy, but he was the happiest soul. You know, and, and Mark, who's, who's, who's my, my wife's cousin, who I call him Cousin Mark as well, very close to me. And, you know, we were, we would talk about his story and how he had, you know, T-Bag Pete had lost his family and, and, and had been grieving and, and then went homeless and had nothing. He had nothing materially, but spiritually he was the most wealthiest man in the world. He seen things that, that, that we would miss. And 
he didn't need the material world to make him happy because the happiness was with within him. Now, I'm not saying that you run it, you know, you, you go away and drop all your material gains and everything else and, and, and go homeless and check that out because that, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that the happiness is within you. It is not external to you. Transformation is more important than achieving the goal, but goal because in the transformation, goals are already achieved. So think about transforming rather than achieving. And maybe things will turn out differently. God bless, guys.